The vintage, 1989. The wine, Andre Brunel's Chateauneuf Cuvée Centenaire. The moment, an epiphany moment for me. Uh, still one of the greatest red wines I've ever had. Still super early in my wine career, but I haven't had too many wines better than that in the last 30 years. And uh, this is the guy that made that wine. And him and his son Fabrice are still doing it today. Domain Andre Brunel. Uh, Andre's what, almost 80, uh, but still very aggressive in the vineyard. Uh, you see the pictures on the website, he's on the tractor, like kind of with a get the hell out of my way look. Fantastic. The wines are amazing. This is one of the best producers in Chateauneuf du Pop year after year. The beauty here is the elegance of the wine. He's never made the biggest wine in Chateauneuf du Pop. Save that for others. And there are others that do that admirably, by the way. This, the symmetry and balance in this wine has always been impeccable and continues to be impeccable. Uh, and you know, we're, I'm always trying to figure out why. You know, this, this wine comes from some good terroirs in Chateauneuf, but it's not like all, oh, it's not all from La Croix and the vineyard next to Bocastel and blah, 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 when we tell those stories. But I think the mix of soils, the age of the vines, the diligence in the farming, and the house style, when to pick, how to pick, makes an Andre Brunel wine, which is complex, refined, plenty rich enough. 2020 vintage in Chateauneuf. Power, juiciness, old viney intensity, they're all gonna be there. 70% Grenache, 70% of that's destemmed, 30% stems on. 30% other stuff, mainly 20% Syrah and Mouved. And then, you know, these vines are all 60, 70, 80 years old. So there's field blends of, you know, Baccarez or Cunois or whatever mixed in in these old vine, old vine blends. And no new oak, concrete, right? Concrete baths, I'm trying to remember. Not too much has changed. He might, he might have used a little more oak in the past, actually. Uh, probably less now. And just what you get here is the pinnacle of classic Chateauneuf. This wine still tastes the way the Chateauneuf tasted in the 90s. With Chateauneuf's come a long way, you know, things have gotten warmer, the stakes were raised, prices went up, and styles kind of reflected that. More punch, more power, higher octane. This wine's not short on octane, probably 14.5% alcohol or 15, I didn't even look, 14.5. But the point is, this is an Andre Brunel wine, which is the epitome of classic, refined Chateauneuf du Pop. It does exist and it's in this bottle. We sold these wines, again, 30 years and counting. The 20s, impeccable. Now, um, his prices have crept up too, you know, but still, for what it is, uh, the $70 retail was not crazy. I mean, this wine gets 96 points, 94 points, you know, get your scores, whatever. But the thing here is the price today because we have a smoking deal for you. This wine's $39.98 now. Incredible, incredible deal. We can't post it online, so it's just gonna be uh, at the checkout for you, so when you click on it, roll through it. But I guarantee you, there is no finer bottle of Chateau Neuf du Pop on my floor, under $40, than this amazing, amazing wine from Andre Brunel, because frankly, it ain't supposed to be 40 bucks. And we love when that happens. And we love it especially with wines that we adore and have adored for three plus decades here at Wine Exchange. Make no doubt about it. This is an absolute necessity for your seller. Amazing price, killer wine. The Brunels are still being the Brunels. What a treat.